Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, you're probably wondering what the heck is about to happen in this video. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be surprising my boyfriend Sam in England. Me and my boyfriend Sam have been dating for about two and a half years now. He lives in England, I live in New York, so we always go back and forth to see each other. It's kind of an annoying process, but it's so worth it because I literally cannot imagine myself with anybody but him. If you guys know Sam and I, you know that we always are doing like crazy things. We've been to so many places together so far. Two years ago, the first New Year's Eve that we ever spent together, I surprised him in England. And I actually never posted the video, but I'll post the clip now. I'm scared to open it. Holy shit! It's been a while since I went to surprise him. Now, the reason I'm surprising him again on New Year's two years later is because. I usually go to England from one month to three months at a time. So the last time I was there, we actually went to France, and then when we got back, Sam and I have to go on different passport lines. So I went on the American passport line, and the customs officer was telling me that I had to leave by a specific day. He made me cry, like it was a really, really horrible experience. Basically said I've been there a really long time, not to come back for a really long time. Stamp my passport and all this crazy stuff. He even called Sam and like told him to propose now. It was absolutely ridiculous. But the thing is, the guy lied about a lot of this stuff. He said that the time doesn't restart in January, which it does. I've looked it up, I've asked other officers. That guy was, I don't know, maybe he was just having a bad day. I wasn't planning to come back until like mid-January and we were actually gonna meet in Barcelona rather than go to England. So last month, Sam and I and my dad and my sister, we went to Florida and when we were on the way back, we spoke to an American custom guy and told him the whole situation and he said to me oh you should be fine like I wouldn't even look at the stamp in your passport so I'm doing something very very risky by going to surprise him for New Year's I am leaving today it is currently the 29th I was only there two months ago so like I'm really really nervous I have been there a really long time but I've been there legally so if anything is gonna happen I'm just gonna explain like I know I've been here legally I'm being told different stuff from different officers I'm going to surprise him all this stuff so I'm like really 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 nervous for this he has no idea he thinks I'm coming January 6th my flight actually leaves today but it's arriving tomorrow into London and I have to take a train from London to Chester so it's gonna be a really really hard long day because I have two suitcases I'm actually going to Chester and meeting up with his friend Sean. I'm not exactly sure. I also got this cute little, oh wait, got this cute little New Year's Eve balloon thing. So I think I'm actually gonna like blow that up and then be standing there with it. I don't know. I'm like so nervous. I'm most nervous about not being allowed in the country. This is very, very risky. I'm willing to take the risk. I've actually been lying to Sam like the past like month saying my phone randomly keeps going on airplane mode in case he texts me while I'm on the plane and it doesn't go through. Let's do this. I'm finishing packing, then we're gonna get ready to go, then I'm gonna pass out on the plane, and then I'm gonna find out if I'm allowed in the country. If I am, this is gonna be an experience. Let's do this, guys. I'm at the airport now. So far, everything is going smoothly, but I'm gonna have my first flight and then I have a connecting flight. I'll keep you updated. Already finished the first flight, now I'm gonna be boarding the second flight to London. I'm already so tired, so let's board the second flight. Oh my god, I look like a mess, but I got through customs. Thank god, I was so nervous about it, but now I have to go find the underground and then go from the underground to Houston, the Houston to Chester. So scared. Update, I'm at Nando's right now outside of Houston station. I still have two more hours till my train leaves. So this is going great, I'm so bored. So I decided to get lunch. I don't even know the plan yet. So we're gonna figure it out as we go. Hopefully that this all works out. Next, I'll be in Chester with Sean, so. <sighs> I just wanna get there already. <laughs> I'm Sean. Hello, dear. <laughs> I'm so nervous, we're pulling up yeah, we to are. the street. We're pulling soon. My heart is literally racing. Right here, right here, isn't it? Yeah. And we don't know if they're home yet. So we're gonna see if they're home. If they're not, we, there's a key hidden. We're gonna hide. And I actually don't know what we're gonna do. But we'll figure it out. We made it to Sam's house. Nobody is here, so that's perfect. So what I set up was hashtag NYE for New Year's Eve, obviously. I think what I'm gonna do is hide behind here, so like this so when he comes in he's gonna see the balloons but not me so he's gonna be kind of confused and i'm gonna pop out so i'll probably have the camera like that and go like that guys i'm literally so nervous okay we're in the dark right now but they're five minutes away it's 5 p.m i'm so nervous sean's gonna hide in the other room you probably see him over there so i'm gonna hide in my spot and here we go the moment we've all been waiting for here we go here we go i'm so nervous Hold on. 
Holy sh what? <laughs> oh hey, my buddy. god. <laughs> so fast i literally did not expect that whatsoever my heart is beating so fast oh, i was so nervous my room as well I, that's what i thought you'd notice you come in like my room's been open so i literally <laughs> i walked in and i was just about to start. I, was like, I was like mum why do you move my light <laughs> i've been doing this whole time literally nothing <laughs> eating doritos do you have anything to say <laughs> You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's still pounding, it's 20 minutes later. My grandparents were in on this, and I'm trying to call them right now, but listen to the noise that's coming from the phone. Yeah, how creepy is that? That is so weird. We're reunited, and it feels so good. Oh, I need a shave. <laughs> Disgusting. I've let myself go since we last saw each other. Oh time. my god. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're going to bed now. I'm so happy to be with him on New Year's. You need to get some sleepy because I know, you are so, so tired. tired. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the surprise. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I literally had no idea whatsoever. I swear down. Oh, I'm so glad. And I'm finally with my handsome man. Our third mm. New Year's together. I'm so excited. You excited? Yes. Make sure to keep updated with us. Follow me on Snapchat, Monica263. Follow me on everything at I Send Pass. And can I just say, yeah. I was thinking it was so weird at New Year's Eve because basically we've all rented this apartment in Liverpool for New Year's Eve. Sean's girlfriend and a bunch of lads and Emily's friend Chloe was going to come as well who turned out to be Monica, but basically, we all wanted to stay in the apartment until like 2 a.m. and basically like have New Year's together and stuff like that and then go out to a club after. But all the other guys, apart from Sean, wanted to go to a club early, so I was gonna be stuck in an apartment with Emily, Sean, like third William, with some random girl Chloe. So I was like kind of kicking off like, no, I don't want to spend New Year's Eve with some random girl Chloe. You know, I've got no interest in another girl kind of thing. Turns out the girl's actually Turns Monica. Turns out, hey, that's my alter ego, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to keep updated with us, like we said, follow us and everything. And that's really it. Good night. Love you. Night. Bye.